Okay, let me very briefly illustrate hand position on the gear lever, chiefly for Ben. So Ben's tending to use his hand on top of the lever like this. He's not gripping it anymore with his fist, which is good. He's keeping his fingers relaxed. But what I want to try and introduce is a little bit of angle on the hand, either towards my knee or towards the passenger's knee or the passenger's side, so that we're working with the rim of the gear lever. And it's something you can practice in a stationary car if you get somebody to loan you their keys so you can just sit in it and I promise to not to drive away. So here I am moving into gear one, my hands at roughly a 45 degree angle towards the passenger's side. The car in front so we'll put a signal on. When I go into gear two, similarly, angle is 45 degrees towards the passenger's side rather than being absolutely flat on the top of the lever. Now when we're going to gear three, instead of being out towards the passenger side, it's going to be angled towards the driver's side so that the lever is helped to find its own way across when it gets to neutral and cross to the right, rather towards the centre again, and then straight forwards. And fourth gear is the easiest of all, because we're just going to go in a straight line backwards, so the hand can remain curved naturally, which is towards the driver in the way that your hands on the steering wheel are curved inwards facing each other. I won't go into four now because we've got some red lights but I'll change down to gear two to illustrate the hand position so it's angled towards the passenger side again similarly when going into one. So rather than being on the top which I will illustrate now so what uh, Ben is doing is keeping his hand on top of the lever and pulling back which is harder on the fingers to have to try and keep enough friction, enough grip on the top of the lever to keep it pushed gently over towards the left hand side. Going up to three isn't so difficult because if the palm of your hand is just gripping the top of the lever it's going to want to relax because of the spring on the gear stick. It's going to want to relax towards the centre position before you carry on pushing forwards anyway. So that's okay. If I was to come down to gear two again, which I'll do now because I'm only doing 29 miles an hour nothing behind, it would be quite difficult with my hand on top to pull it across. My hand is much more at risk of sliding off, so it's better to push around the rim so that I've got the uh, ability to apply a little bit of pressure against that spring towards the passenger door. So I'll do it the correct way again. Building up speed, palm slightly angled towards the driver's knee, up into three, just cradling it in the cup of your hand if you like the head of the gear. And in gear four, nice and easy, it's just the, the rear face, the soft part of the fingers which are pulling the lever back in a straight line. Down into three, it's very straightforward as well, just pushing forwards with the palm of the hand, palm kind of facing towards the instrument pack if you like. But when it comes to going into gear two or gear one, arm is definitely angled to be towards the passenger side and if I want to change the gear to at this speed 30 miles an hour because there's a lot happening in front of me and I might need to reduce the speed a lot I would need to add quite a bit of gas if I wanted to maintain the speed of the car so here we go got my hand position right coming into neutral adding the gas bringing the revs up to about 2000 placing the lever in there we are, still doing 28 miles an hour, engine making quite a lot more noise, and the revs are up above two and a half thousand. So from here, I might even ease it into neutral, and then straight back into four, because I've certainly got enough speed for me. 